the last warning that God gave Pharaoh. So Moses went to Pharaoh and he told him, Tonight, the angel of the Lord is going to pass over and all of the firstborn sons in Egypt, all the animals' firstborn son, and all of the Egyptians, from you, Pharaoh, to the servant's son, will all die. But guess what? Pharaoh had a hardened heart. But God told Moses, Moses, I have set my people apart, the Israelites, but I need you to do this. I need you to tell my people that they need to pick a very special lamb. They need to pick a lamb that is no blemishes, that is perfect, that is about one year old. He said, I need you to have every single family get one lamb. He said, and then I'm going to have you have them sacrifice that lamb. Now remember the lamb is very special. We've been learning all about the lamb because Jesus is called the lamb of God. Jesus is called the lamb of God. Remember when we heard a long time ago with Cain and Abel, where Abel offered the lamb and God accepted it, but Cain offered the fruits and vegetables and God could not accept it. Noah, when he got off the boat, the first thing he did was he offered a lamb. Abraham, remember Abraham? God said, Abraham, I want you to sacrifice your very own son. And But then later God said, no, no, don't kill your son. I will be the sacrifice. I will provide the lamb. So God has been showing us all along how a lamb is a picture of Jesus. And so now God tells all of the Israelites, everybody needs to get a lamb and they need to sacrifice it. He said, and then he goes, I'm going to separate my people from the Egyptians. And whoever hears my voice and obeys me will be saved. And he goes, once you sacrifice the lamb, this is what you need to do. He said, at the basin of every door, he said, put the blood of the lamb. And he goes, and then he said, I want you to use a hyssop branch. Okay? So they got a piece of hyssop, and they dipped it in the blood. Okay? And when they dipped it in the blood, they had to put it on the top of the door. They had to put it on the side of the door, on each side. And then the bowl would stay on the bottom. And so God told the people this. When the angel of the Lord goes throughout Egypt, he said, I'm going to look. So Jesus himself said, when I go throughout Egypt, he goes, and the angel of the Lord is going to go out. And it's going to kill all of the firstborn sons. But if you have that blood of the lamb on your door, and he goes, and I want my people to hide in their houses all night behind that door. If you're in your house and I pass over, you're going to be safe. Everybody in your house is going to be safe. But if I pass by and there's no blood, he said that firstborn son in the house or wherever it is, they're going to die. And so God's people obeyed. They sacrificed the lamb. They put it on the doorpost. And they all hid in their houses and were safe. Well, the angel of the Lord passed throughout Egypt. And the very next morning, it was midnight. And all of a sudden, you hear cries all throughout Egypt. Everybody's waked up. They're crying. Even Pharaoh wakes up. And Pharaoh goes, and he looks. Because remember, Pharaoh had been warned at the very beginning. He had nine chances to change his heart. And he did not listen. He knew that God had warned him, you're going to lose your son if you don't let my son go. And so he didn't listen. So he goes and he checks on his son. And sure enough, his son has died. And now he calls Moses and Pharaoh uh, Moses, Pharaoh calls him and he says, come over here. And then he said, now you guys get out of here. You guys can leave. Because now he knew that the God of Israel was the one true God. And God kept his word. His son had died. And so he said, I want you guys to leave. You guys can go ahead and go. But then he said something very interesting. Pharaoh told Moses, but bless me before you go. Because finally Pharaoh realized, you know what? All these fake gods that I've been worshiping, they're not the real God. Your God is the real God. Bless me before you go. And so all of God's people were able to leave. They packed all their stuff. And this is what God is so amazing. He gave them favor in the eyes of the Egyptians. And so they went to the Egyptians and said, hey, do you have anything that we could have to take on our journey? And all of the Egyptians gave them gold and silver and jewelry. And they walked away from that land of Egypt into the new land loaded down with jewelry and gold and silver because all of the 430 years, they were there in Egypt for 430 years being slaves. 
God repaid them for their hard work, and they were able to leave. And this is something that is really cool. When they had put the blood on the door, and they ate a very special meal that God told them to eat, when they walked away, nobody was sick. Everybody who had been sick was healed. All of the old people were like young people. Everybody was healthy because they were going to go on a long journey. So God, through that blood of the door, made everyone healthy and strong and capable to go on the journey. Now, this is what this is so cool because this blood on the door is called, the Lord called it the Passover. Because what passed over? Death. Death passed over all of God's people and kept them safe. So this special day is called the Lord's Passover. And God said, Israel, this is your new year. From now on, your calendar has changed. On this day begins your first new year. It begins your new life. And I want you guys to see something because this door represents something very special. Cross. The cross. cross. This blood on the door represents the cross because you know what? Thousands of years later, a couple thousand years, Jesus died on Passover. The very same day that this happened, Jesus died on that very same day. He died on Passover. And so when we have Jesus in our heart, guess what? We have a new birthday because we have a new year. When Miss Yolanda had Jesus in my heart, that became my new year. I got a new birthday that day because I was now born again. And when you guys have Jesus in your heart, your birthday starts. You get a new birthday, a day when you accept Jesus into your heart. And guess what? When we have Jesus in our heart, we are safe and protected. So that is how Passover is the Lord's day. And that represents the cross. And so Jesus wants us to know that when you put the blood of Jesus on, over your heart, the door of your heart, you are then protected, just like they were protected. We're protected we're by yucky in their heart. It's all gone. We're protected over the, the wicked, the, the sneaky snake, and we're protected from death, right? Then we have Jesus in our heart. We get to live forever. 